Okay, when I got some more bark now, we got an end here. Like I said, twist down to your last one, and when you've got these two tag ends, you can just elect to either tuck one of them in somewhere where you've got an opening, because that's not going to hurt anything either. Um, if you want to do that, you can tuck one of them in, and just pull the other one over and tuck it underneath it, just like this, and leave it alone, and then get your next piece of bark or cordage or whatever you're using and start in that spot just like we talked about start in that spot or the one before it even twist twist now at this point you can really just put this thing in your lap and you want to keep pulling it tighter now because now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get this basket to turn it in an upwards position to start rolling on you and the only way you're going to get that to happen is to start pulling this thing tight now. But you can see now that I pulled this thing up, you can see how these things are spiraling upwards. And that's what you want. And it's going to get progressively taller and taller. And I'll get back with you here in just a minute. Okay, you can see our basket starting to really take shape now. I want to kind of get you a better camera angle because I want you to kind of see... All I'm doing now is I'm going in between every one of these uprights or stays and just crossing and pulling down tight, crossing and pulling down tight, crossing and pulling down tight. And what that's going to do is, and I'm just kind of pushing the basket around with my hand, you're not going to hurt it any, forming it as I go. I'm about to run out of, run out of this piece of bark again here. But you can see now where we're at. And we can push, like I said, you can push this thing around with your hands, not a big deal. But you can see we're starting to get a nice little basket here, okay? So, I got one more piece of bark, and then we're going to have to go collect some more. We're going to get on this, probably try to make this basket, oh, I don't know, four or five inches deep anyway. Just enough to collect some berries or something in and do a good demonstration, and then we're going to stop and clip it all off, and I'll show you how that's done when we get to that point. This is not hard stuff to do, okay? It's, it's, I have a lot of questions about this in the virtual classroom and online, and basket weaving and things like that are not hard to do. Um, this piece in particular right here is actually a neck basket that's woven out of a paracord type material. It actually has a drawstring that it will shut, um, and it's just made out of paracord. It's all it's made out of, and it actually was made for a multi-tool pocket just to carry around my neck and tie off. And then I can carry that around my neck, and I have a ton of spare paracord if I need it for something. But I also have just a nifty little pouch basket, and it's made exactly the same way we're making this basket right now. It's just made with cordage and nothing else instead of any kind of bark or strips of any kind. And maybe we'll do a video on that in another lesson. Like I said, you can just straighten her up as you go, but see where we're at right now. We got it probably two and a half, three inches deep. All right, fellas, we got our basket probably four inches deep now. And uh, I'm going to trim this down a little bit and cut some of these tags off of it. And I'm going to show you how to kind of finish this out a little bit. Maybe we'll even put a little handle on it too for you. Okay, I'm just going to go around here with my multi-tool and just chop these off just a little bit above the final weave line here just to kind of get them out of my way I'm not going to go any higher than this with the basket so I don't have to worry about having those stays there to weave into okay what I'm going to do to finish this off here guys I've got this these two tag ends here where this last twist is right here I'm going to go behind this post here and I'm going to push that down through my last set of weaves I'm going to take this one and I'm going to put it inside there and pull it over and then I'm going to pull down on this and that's going to secure the whole thing then I can kind of push this all down make sure my weaves tight all the way around I'll shorten my basket a little bit that's okay now I'll probably want to go back around and kind of trim off trim off my edges but then I know I'll have a nice tight basket that way too and you can see I've pushed it down probably a quarter of an inch from where I from where I cut all my stays off at right there so I'll have to go back around and trim those off but uh, you know I, I ain't ashamed of that I'm not ashamed of that at all I got some things on the inside I can cut out and get rid of 
but uh, for a little wild edibles basket or just a basket to hang in my wiki or whatever not ashamed of that at all not hard to do I hope you guys will try this I hope you've enjoyed this video alright guys well here's our little basket we trimmed it up and we got everything cut off of it we got most of the stuff cut out of the inside of it but uh, I'm pretty proud of it I think I'll put it in my wiki and uh, in my personal space I thank you very much for joining me here at Wilder Southfitters. I hope you learned something today. I enjoy teaching, and uh, thank you very much for your support.